Folks, if you're trying to invest out of state, like my clients, Lewis and Jessica, they are from Los Angeles, California. They're trying to invest out of state, okay? If that is you and you think you are limited to turnkey only, you are wrong. Here at Holton Wise, we provide you turnkey services. We are turnkey reimagined. You might think that if you're investing out of state, you can't do bird deals. Not the case. I got a bird deal for you two that you could pull off out of state. My team will help you. Let's talk about it now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you invest in real estate, y'all. A lot of y'all out there thinking like, oh, man, I'm out of state. All I can do is turnkey, turnkey, turnkey. I don't get to get that beautiful equity. Not the case with Holton Wise, folks. What we do, we are turnkey reimagined, okay? We provide you the turnkey services you need when you're out of state, but we help you do more creative deals like this deal. This is a bird deal. Six, six. Well, first of all, before I even tell you the address, there might be new viewers out there. What is a bird deal? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, had me a good old lunch today. A bird deal, y'all. What is a bird deal? It's an acronym, all right? Like USA, United States of America, right? Burr. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. I don't know why I had to count them. I think I did because it's like I've said the word burr like probably 20 million times, but I always screw up. Like I always forget how many R's there are. Anywho, moral of the story is what you need to do to do a burr deal, folks, is you need to buy a messed up property. Okay, you're going to renovate it, force equity, add equity to it. Then you're going to put in a tenant. Then you're going to get the bank to give you back some money, and you're going to end up in to a property for less than the traditional 25% down, right? We're trying to gain some equity and end up with less cash in it than normal. This allows us to stretch our funds as far as, far as possible. You do this uh, with traditional turnkey providers, not possible, right? They do that. They take all that equity. You don't get to get it. Not the case with Holton Wise. So this property right here, this is a big old duplex, all right? 661 Washington Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio, 44052. Just hit the market two days ago, priced at 99.9, okay? Lorraine, Ohio, it's in the Cleveland, Ohio market, one of the most popular cash flow markets, and I actually like Lorraine better than Cleveland, okay? Cleveland, a lot of people, like out-of-state folks, they think Cleveland, like they think all we do in, at Holton Wise or in Northeast Ohio is Cleveland this, Cleveland that. Not the case, folks. There's like a population we're working with, like 5 million people. Cleveland has 361,000. That's a lot of stuff in the greater Cleveland area that isn't actually Cleveland. So Lorraine is another city, 30 minutes west, more landlord-friendly, doesn't have those new pesky lead paint regulations the city of Cleveland is uh, hitting landlords with. If you never heard of those, I got a link to that in the video below. But let's take a look at this house. I like it quite a bit. One more thing before I get to the pictures. Also in Lorraine, uh, two new naval bases are being built, okay? Uh, so that's going to add a bunch of jobs. That's really good when we're trying to do what we're trying to do here, which is force some appreciation, okay? Back to the, the house, right? This is a big old duplex, right? Look at this thing, okay? Got your porch, got your escape in case there is a fire. That's important. Obviously, you can see that this duplex comes with, like, an amazing lush green lawn, right? Look how beautiful that that yard is looking good, Okay. Uh, and, you know, the inside looks like what you want the inside to look like on a bird deal, right? It looks like complete, total fucking shit, right? It looks horrible, right? This is gross, man. You got freaking nastiness right here. Look at that. By the way, just so everybody's aware, I think rookies probably don't understand this. You see all this, like, black right here? And then right here? And then right here? You might be looking at this like, oh, gross. Look at all that black. That's dirt. Uh, guess what? It's not dirt. It's worse than dirt. You know what this is? 
This is dried human blood and fecal matter from a major bed bug infestation, folks. That's what a mattress looks like after some savage lived in there with a nasty bed bug infestation. Which, by the way, you guys want to see the worst bed bug infestation you've ever seen in your entire lives? I'm going to link it in the description below because you know we got it here at, bed, uh, at Holden Wise TV, man. Bed bugs, that's what we do. Woo, you got to see us killing these bed bugs, dude. These things are like the size of freaking dimes, these little monster bed bugs. And you'll get some nice zoomed in shots of live action shots of some uh, mattresses like this and you really see uh, all the disgustingness that comes along with bed bug infestations, right? So clearly this unit, you had some nasty fucking horrible savages living here. Uh, bed bugs just grossness right look at these walls just discolored and blah, icky 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 right probably gonna replace these they're all broken up just look shitty uh so you gotta do pretty much everything top to bottom on both units the floors you probably just refinish those uh but you'll do new vinyl you'll do new vinyl uh lower flooring in the kitchens and the baths right like this floor that's not gonna cut it man look at all that grodiness like it's like they're literally like pissing in the toilet but they're missing the toilet and they're they're just pissing on the hot water tank which i mean i will say this right if you talk to my wife <laughs> i might not have the best aim in the history of the world uh perhaps they could have placed the hot water tank a little further away from the toilet uh, but, I mean, come on, dude. They're pissing on this hot water tank more than they're pissing in the toilet, man. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, renovate that bathroom is the moral of the story, right? So anyway, cosmetically, the whole this this one's probably a little savageable, but you got to do the floor, uh, repaint all the walls. Uh, this is a very massive, massive duplex, by the way, folks. This thing is huge, right? It's huge and it's ugly. Total of seven bedrooms, right? So let's talk about rent roll, though, right? I, thus far, we have a horrible-looking house that used to have horrible savages living there, just dirty, nasty, terrible people, bed bug infestated grossness, right? This may sound bad, but no, it's not. This is good. This is what we want, right? We need ugly. That's how we make our money, right? This seller, they got a problem, this property. It's not doing too hot for them, right? They're dealing with these bed bugs. It's gross. They don't want to mess with that, right? That's where we come in. This thing's going to make a lot of money, though, right? Because it's so big. That top unit's two floors. It's a 4-2. Bottom unit's a 3-1, right? So I'm projecting out $1,750 a month in rent. That's $908.50, right? That's $21,000 for the year. After you factor in fixed and variable expense estimates, because, let's face it, this is real estate investing. Uh, right now is probably not the last time this house is ever going to have an eviction, and it's probably not the last time some asshole is going to bring in a bunch of bed books. Welcome to investing in real estate, folks. Where do you think we get all that amazing, disgusting, nasty, filthy, horrible, rotten content for the Tenants from Hell show. We get them from rental properties, okay? Now, this neighborhood is a very nice neighborhood, in my opinion. It's a C-grade neighborhood. Now, when I say very, very nice, you got to take that with a grain of salt. you got to look at the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I'll put that in the link below. What I think with a C-grade neighborhood is your level of risk is manageable. It's moderate. It's not the end of the world, but that does not negate you from ever having trouble with tenants. Eventually, at some point, that will happen to you. Does it happen often? No, but does it happen? Absolutely. So, as such, on your chart here, you can see that I've factored in things such as repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment of rent, right? I'm factoring that in because eventually we're going to run into issues like this. Um, that's just part of the business, folks. It's the minority, but it does happen. So you don't get to keep all twenty-one grand. That's not all profit. I'm projecting out a real profit of about eleven thousand two hundred seventy-one. Now let's get to the real important stuff, the big stuff. Why it makes sense to buy such a piece of crap, bed bug infested nastiness instead of just doing turnkey. Well, they're asking ninety-nine nine. I actually, even though this is horrible, think there's going to be a decent amount of people interested in it. I think you should pay 100 Let's go just 100 bucks over. Hey, man, cash offer. Boom, 100 grand. they would be like, whoa, dude, James, you just spent like 10 minutes telling me how horrible this house is. I know I did. Isn't it great? 100 grand. Why? Because for the low, low cost of 45 grand, my team is going to get up into this beast 
and turn it from a turd to something cool. I don't know. I was trying to think of something cool. Turd's bad. What would be cool? I don't know. We're going to turn it from a turd into a cash flow monster. It's going to look fresh. It's going to look nice. We're going to repaint all the walls in both units. Get rid of any holes. Refinish all hardwoods. I seen some carpet in some of those bedrooms. Probably pull that up, refinish the existing hardwoods. Kitchens and baths will have new matching vinyl allure flooring. Uh, Home Depot Lowe's quality kitchen countertops, okay? Uh, we'll probably also spend a G uh, replacing the piss-covered hot water tank. All of that's going to be about forty-five grand. We should be rent ready. That's how you're going to get the nine hundred and the eight fifty. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get uh, somebody to come in and pay you nine hundred dollars to live in a house that looks like that right now. Like, hey, man, uh, that's a bed bug stain mattress. That's a bunch of garbage. Here is the toilet. If you don't feel like pissing inside the toilet, just do what the last guy did and piss on this hot water tank. Right? That would not make for a very good rental tour. It would be very hard for our leasing agents to actually get you guys tenants if that was the case. So we got to drop 45 G's into this building to make it good. So you're going to be all in on, on this investment, 145000 And this, folks, this is the good part, right? So if you're starting to be like, man, I don't think I could deal with real estate investing, hold on. This is where it all makes sense. This is why we do what we do, folks. The new value of this property at that point, in my opinion, will be $165,000. For those of you not good at math, that is an additional $20,000 on top of what you've put into it with your acquisition cost and my team renovating it, right? We have done the dirty work. We've done the nastiness. That's why we didn't go turnkey with you. We went and did this bird deal. That is $20,000. Now you go back to the bank. This is the refinance part. They will give you a loan. If it appraises at 165, which is what I believe it would, they will give you a loan of 123,750. Thus, meaning you only have to keep $21,250 of your original $145,000 investment. That, folks, pencils out to a 24% return on your investment. That is why we do what we do. That is why we get in there and we go, bed bugs, give me some of that. Pissing on a hot water tank? Hell yeah, I'll take two. That's why we put up with this stuff, folks, because you can do things like make 24% ROI. The life of a real estate investor, it's not always glamorous. In fact, you deal with poop a lot, human poop. Human poop is gross, really gross. It is a big part of what we do as real estate investors, folks. But guess what? Holden Wise handles all that. You don't actually have to handle all the poop. We handle the poop. Poop is our thing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 100 grand, 45K in reno, should put us at an ARV of 165. We're all in at 145, 20K in equity created, 24% cash on cash return. One thing you do need to understand, though, okay? Appraisers are human beings, just like me, just like you. Appraisers piss and poop just like everyone else, except for your tenants. I assume appraisers actually piss and poop in the toilet, not on the hot water tank. But that's notwithstanding. What I'm trying to say is humans can be swayed by things. When you do a bird deal like this, oftentimes uh, the closer you do it, the, appra uh, the, uh, the appraisal, the closer you try to do the refi to the actual purchase, sometimes the actual purchase will weigh heavily on that appraiser, right? Like if I had this property, $900, $850 tenant in there, I'd slap that thing on my show, the Investor Properties for Sale show. I'd sell that for $165, maybe even $170, $175,000 like that. And then the bank could come in and appraise it. Be no problem, right? Because what do they have weighing heavily on their uh, brain there? They have a purchase agreement in hand saying that an uh, arm's length buyer believes it is worth 175000 165000 whatever we're talking about, whatever that number would be, right? So it makes them uh, very easily be like, yeah, the value's here. Uh, they're tougher on appraisals from cash out refis, especially when we buy them for prices like $100,000 because the last purchase of the agreement that they have, the thing that will be weighing on their head a little bit, is $100,000. So keep that in mind. The further away from your purchase you actually do it, the stronger your appraisal will be. Uh, I don't think we're going to have an issue getting the 165 appraised value, but, uh, you know, real estate is an imperfect industry, folks. If you can't tell that thus far, that is probably the most important thing I've taught you thus far in this video, right? Today's video, 
Real estate ain't perfect, and property managers deal with poo. Also, bed bugs are gross, right? That, those are the three K takeaways, okay? Uh, but if all goes well, it should pencil out high, uh, put out there on the chart for you, right? This thing is going to be a cash cow. This is what real investors that are making a ton of money, this is the kind of deals they're doing. Not beautiful, not glamorous, covered in poop and bugs and grossness. But that, folks, that's how we make money. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.